You can't back that in the garage with them big old hips on there. You like that? Look at that. Look at that. That motherfucker's fine. Look at that. The, the ass fine. is the best on this whole car. Like, yeah, this she, is she the best nice ass, ass you'll ever see is right big here. Big old white booty. Look at that. <laughs> So here's the West Coast Custom Showroom. So we have a couple finished products in here, from wild to more wild. Pink Mini with the Swarovski roof. Has 100,000 Swarovski crystals on the roof. Why? So you can blind an airplane? Why right. the hell are you doing Because this? my wife got bored. This is what she does. What else you got? What is this so, Audi So we doing, have a chrome man? Audi. We did this, this for a crazy. promotion of the Tron movie back in the day. So this wrap, I mean, it, it's a chrome wrap on it. So chrome is the hardest wrap to do. So this is probably like a $15,000 wrap job opposed to like a normal $5,000 wrap. We built these rings, LED rings, that go behind the wheel. Yeah, I was building something. I'm trying to can't nobody go buy shit. That's what I told you, I gotta build. Just dream it, I'll build it. So this huh. is a Dodge Charger that was a four door that's now a two door. So we cut the car in half, shortened it, and made it a two door. That's how they should have made the Charger. They made it a four door and I think they messed it up. So we brought the roof down a little bit, it's chopped. And then that door, we made it longer. I would love to see the process in doing something like this. Now, I, I love this. What is this? This is crazy. Will I Am is a good client, friend of mine that has these futuristic ideas all the time. So we sit to draw on some stuff and we came up with this. This definitely looks like Will I Am. It started as a design of on a piece of paper. We came up with it. We built the whole body from scratch. We built the drivetrain. It's got a Corvette drivetrain in it, so it's a motor, you know, LS3 in it. So y'all came up with futuristic ideas. And then we designed this start car. shaping the metal, start building it, and then obviously the interior, you know, it had to be futuristic as well. So everything's ran off an of iPad. The AC controls, the door poppers, like everything's run off that. So if a car company came and said they wanted to buy this patent, what would you charge them? That would be a tough negotiation, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's in the millions for sure. This is one of those cars, you know, like you could pull up in this and you could pull up in the, the dopest Lambo that's yeah. out there and they're going to look at this first. What would something like this cost? This cost them a million. Done. In a year. Me? Yeah. You just pay you a little hundred right there. A little 40. Yeah. And I'm a little faulty. In a briefcase, that's what I wanted, but you know, it never works like that. I swipe it. <laughs> now, I know what this is. So this it started life as a DeLorean. That's what it was born as. Yeah. Okay. But we took it to 2020. We widened the whole car eight inches. So like from here to here. How the hell is... are you gonna park, Ryan? If you we need no, to. No, I mean park. you're still good, you're still good. You put so you park need me here. You don't think the things out. <laughs> Is that a one big brake light that you can see from, from another the future. county? Yeah. From the future. That's the hugest brake light I've ever seen in my life. And the life. DeLorean, obviously, really, when they built the cars, they didn't really have a motor in them. So they didn't? No. The motor was like, like a go-kart motor. Uh -huh. So we had to pull that out and put a Corvette motor in it because and supercharge it so he could get to the future. This car actually runs. Yeah, runs. It moves. And it's all we built it all out of aluminum, so it's super light. These cars were all stainless, so building it out of aluminum dropped a whole lot of weight off of it. We added a bigger motor in it, which gave it some power, and then the interior is, is, is pretty amazing. Hey, look, show me what you got. Oh, that's fancy. Digital dash. We did the wood floor. That's nice. Right? With a little bit of stainless steel trim, just to give it a little touch. Oh, uh, how much this? This remake of the DeLorean, about Oops. 500. Half a meal. Yes, sir. Half a ticket. Half a ticket. You got the Beats yeah. speaker in here. Yes, sir. This is so nice. And this thing, look like it really take you back to the future. Right, you feel like you're already going somewhere. I really, really like and appreciate the mind that you have, man. And then Thank it's you. just like being able to get these images out. That's the thing is like I get them in my head and now yeah. I got a really good team upstairs where we can put them on paper and then my team out in the back can build it. You know, it's like bringing dreams to reality. I mean, that's really- now, This is definitely about. a dream come true right here. Now, you know me, I've been watching West Coast Customs since they had exhibit on that motherfucker, pimping rides. So it was cool to finally meet Ryan in person. You know, when you see people on TV and stuff like that, kind of like when you see me in the airport. A lot of futuristic ideas, the DeLorean, the Will I Am car, a lot of special things going on. The price range, I can see me fucking up my checkbook too. So I'm gonna have to be down with that. I'm fucking with Ryan, he the shit. Double salute to you and what you have going on, my man. True.